All right. Seems like I finished all my pulls. Um, I know I'm supposed to be vouching more about the uh, Celeste banner because the event is out, but I feel like uh, I don't really need any of these uh, weapons. I won't be planning on playing with Celeste, I won't be planning on playing with Onion Knight. So that's two out of three weapons that I kind of wanted. I already have uh, Papa Limo maxed out, so I'm not gonna go and uh, pull for this banner. So my thought here was I would go back to the summer event or campaign draw for Squall, Yuna and um, Saz. And uh, I was not expecting to get a 35 CP weapon. Uh, it helps me out because I haven't max limit broken his weapon. But uh, now that I got that I also got a weapon that is 15 CP which I can turn into Power Stone and now I can finally uh, with all the events and all the power stones that we got and I can maximum break his 35 CP. Now the other thing that I wanted to look at is the uh, uh, 35 CP weapon for Saz. Currently he's being used a lot because of this. Um, I feel like he's a decent character right now actually with all the buffs that he got on. Um, I was hoping for a 35 CP weapon for him, but unfortunately I did not get it. But I'm still happy getting my Squall to uh, 35 CP uh, with max limit break. But yeah, that's all the tickets I'll be using, and uh, hopefully the remaining tickets will be used for another banner and not on repetitive banners that I've done previously. But uh, if it has a weapon in a banner that's uh, like Titus, Lightning, Papalimo, or whatever that character that I really need, like Aiko and such, then I'm probably gonna be pulling on those. Um, but yeah, I'm saving my gems currently. Hopefully we're gonna be pulling some more multi-draws um, on banners that are really really worth it. But right now I feel like tickets is probably the best way to try out my luck. And I was pretty lucky even though I kinda wanna have Saz 35 CP weapon. But yeah. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.